Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you an important configuration operator in MongoDB when you are querying a collection of documents. Okay. Uh, now let me show you how to use it from the Mongo shell. Currently, I'm currently opening a terminal in a Mac OS, and you can do that in any in other OS like Windows or Linux. So I use Mongo shell in this class to show you how to use the Converse Corporator. First, let me come next to a Mongo instance from the client. The default server is a local host on the port 2717. Alright, after connect, I'm going to use a database in this class. It's called a video, the last database. I have used video to switch to that database and uh, show the collections in that database. It gives a list of connections. The first one, movie details, is the one we're gonna use today. Okay, first, let's take a look at what the collection gives us. You type the collection name followed by found, it will return the first 20 documents. On this click on this document, and you can type it for more to show the next 10 documents. Well, basically, Mongo returns a cursor object when you type a fund. That doesn't look really nice. Uh, okay, like, let me show you a handy command to show the basic structure of the uh, documents in MongoDB. So, what we can do is just uh, Type final one. Final one instead of return the first one document is also printed nicely, so you can look at that document structure easily. You can see that this document you basically present a movie information, like the title, the release year, the read, countries published, and writers, actors, and tomatoes, and so on. Okay, now we know that this document, or this collection includes a series of documents about movies. Okay, in order to, let me give you an example, like if you want to find the movies in the year of 1968, what you're gonna do in the basic Mongo query command, Basically, you just need to type the name of the collection, movie details, find, and give the query here, 1968. Okay, then it will give you all the documents match the query. If you don't know what does this mean, you can look at my previous uh, video about how to use query in MongoDB. Okay, now let me type how much, how many document matches query it shows 12 documents means 12 movies released in the year of 1968 now let me show you how to print the print the or filter the fields on the query results if you just want to look at the title of this return result you can use the second parameter of in the font method give the title and the plus one means show that title it will show the title in the result list as well as the underscore id because underscore id is uh, really important in mongo collections so this one will be shown as default if you want to de disable this one you can easily tap underscore id zero then it will filter uh, underscore ID out. Okay, now it returns all the movies released in 1968. What if you want to know how, uh, want to get the movies which released after 1986? That's where the composition operator comes in. So let me show you how to do that. Basically, we just need to update the query path in here. And there is an um, important 
operator called greater. You do type greater. Oh, sorry. Okay. So basically, the operator greater than means I want to get a query the year which is greater than 1968 that it will return all the movies which released after 1986 if you want to see the year field you can easily type it in this way so you can see that all these movies the year of the movies is greater or is after 1986 so but what if you want to find the movies after 1986 but includes 1986 you can simply type GTE which stands for greater than the equal and then you will return all the movies match this criteria all right what if you want to see that the movies in 1990s so 1990s means the movie released between 1990 to 1999 inclusive so what you can do is just type greater than 1900 and uh, less than 1999. If you type this, it will return the movies in this time period. All right, so that's the basically how you use the conversion operators combined with the query conditions here, Mongo find method. That's quite straightforward, right? So if you look at the Mongo document, you will see that there are many other conversion operators listed here, like equal, greater than, greater than, and equal, less than, less than, equal, and not equal, in, and uh, not in. So the last two operators I will show you in a separate video. But for the rest of this character, character the operators you can easily use them if you understand what I showed in the previous video okay that's all for now thank you